friends, this video is for our second through fourth grade team for May week four, which is May 22nd. How are we to May 22nd already? This is our fourth graders last Sunday in Oak Bridge Kids, and that makes me so crazy sad. So they are all moving up to detour in June. Next weekend, we will have a family service, so we will not be having elementary small groups. So for the last week, we are talking about resilience, getting back up when something gets you down, and our memory verse. But those who trust in the Lord will receive new strength. They will fly as high as eagles. They will run and not get weary. They will walk and not grow weak. I said weary. It's tired, but that's the old version. Isaiah 40, 31. So that's our memory verse for the month. In week four, we spend time in Hebrews 11, one of my favorite chapters in the whole Bible. The author of Hebrews reminds us that when life gets hard, we can look to the heroes of the faith and see how they trusted God through some tough circumstances. We use Abraham, Joseph, and Moses to help kids understand how to show resilience through difficult circumstances. So our bottom line, trusting God can help you get back up. It's comforting to know that others have made it through the other side of difficult times. When we see how God helped them, it helps us trust God more with our circumstances. So it's going to be a great week. Um, we would love for you to join us in the garage room at 820 and 1020 for coffee and donuts and most importantly prayer. Then just make sure that you're in your small group by 8.30 and 10.30. Kids will start to roll in at 8.40 and 10.40. I am going to have little graduation certificates for our fourth graders that you can fill out as they come in. And I'm also going to try to come up with a little treat, surprise, party celebration for them as well. So your first little interactivity is a categories game. So what you can do as kids come in, you've got, um, you're going to have bouncy balls in your room in these gray baskets. You're going to use them for a game later on, but you'll use them for your intro game too. So you'll announce a category, like anything, types of breakfast cereal is always my favorite, and instruct the kid with the ball to name something from the category, and then they'll bounce the ball to another kid, and you'll just keep going until someone is stumped, and then you start a new category. Then when service starts at 9 and 11, you're going to do an interactivity called a little bounce pass game. So again, you're going to need your bouncy ball. You'll have two if you want to split your kids into two groups. So you're going to have your kids stand in a circle and toss the ball back across it back and forth. If a kid misses the ball, they go down on one knee, but they continue to play. If they catch it on the next toss, they get to stand back up. If they miss it again while they're on one knee, they would go down to both knees. Again, if they catch the ball, they can stand back up. If they miss the ball again when they're down on both knees, then they're just out of the game for that round. So you're going to keep going until you get down to two or three players, and then you can restart. And you'll just say, whew, how did it feel to be penalized for missing the ball? Was it harder to keep playing when you had to go down on one or both knees? Well, in, today in our Bible story, we're going to hear about some people who found the secret to getting back up. So I guess it's not a bounce pass. <laughs> you're just going to throw the ball. Maybe you might need to bounce pass. Up to you. Okay, so then at 10 after, you will head across the hall to large group. When you get back from large group, you have a couple of review games that you can do. So the first one, this is one of my favorite things that I used to do as a teacher. It's called I Have, Who Has. So before you start the activity, you're going to do a quick little review. I'm going to mark in your actual Bible. The Action Bible doesn't have this, but I'm going to mark in your Action Bible um, Hebrews 11, and it goes through some of the heroes of the faith. So each paragraph is like a different person, so Abel. Enoch, Noah, Abraham, and Abraham's is very long because Abraham had lots of faith. Um, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, Moses, um, and again, Moses is very long. Rahab, um, and then he keeps going, and this last paragraph is just about all different people. So David and, no, um, and Daniel and just all kinds of people that had faith um, to keep going even when things were hard. So you're just going to kind of review those people a little bit especially these four right here. Okay, then you're gonna divide your kids into two groups and ask each group to circle up. And you're gonna give each group a set of I have, who has cards that are mixed up in random order and you'll give each kid at least one card. Um, you have to pass out all nine cards for the game to work. So some kids might have more than one card, that's okay. Then you're gonna have the kid with the card that says begin here they will read their card first. And you're gonna tell the group, they have to listen really carefully because their card is going to have a clue. So for example, these are up in the top of your cart. The card might say, um, let's see if we can find the begin one on here. Oh, there's their 
to, oh, start here. Okay, so they're going to say, who has someone who trusted God to take the Israelites out of slavery? So who took the Israelites out of slavery? So then the person who has this card would say, I have Moses. Who has someone who obeyed God and received God's miracle gift of a son? Then the person who's holding Abraham would say, I have Abraham. Who has someone that trusted God to help him face Goliath? And then, obviously, the person who has David would say, I have David. Who has someone who stood up for God and was protected from the lions? So that would be Daniel, Daniel in the lion's den. So keep going. So if they have the answer to the clue, they're going to say, I have blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I think there's two sets in, in each thing. You guys might have to separate them out. So here's the answers. The person who starts with Joseph, they'll, the, their answer is Moses and Moses to Abraham and so on. And so you'll just close this down by saying the person who wrote Hebrews loved God deeply. They understood that the more we discover about what God has done in the past, the more we can trust God now. These amazing men and women we read about in the Bible made it through some incredibly difficult situations because they knew that trusting God can help them get back up. They didn't give up. God worked in their hearts just like God is working in our hearts. Then if you'd like to, there's another little review activity that you can do. There's two blindfolds on your cart, and you would have two kids, um, all the kids except for two, get in a wide circle. And I don't think we're going to give each kid a tennis ball just because I'm not going to buy them any tennis balls. That seems silly. You're going to blindfold the two kids who aren't in the circle and ran, randomly then place them somewhere in the circle. Then the rest of the kids are going to make noise distractions. They can snap. They can clap. They can slap their legs. They can stomp their feet. Um, and the two blindfolded kids are going to be calling out, bounce back, bounce back, until they find each other by listening for the other person. And then after they find each other, find two different kids to be blindfolded. And you're just going to say, that was fun. And each round, the blindfolded kids had to trust each other's voice to lead them as they searched for each other. And God has given us stories of people in the Bible who have gone before us to help lead the way. God knows what you're going through and what you will go through. And God knows your whole story. And one way God helps us through hard times is by giving us people like our parents, our grandparents, our teachers, and other grown-ups. So when stuff gets us down, we can look to those people who have trusted God in the past and they can help us trust God too. All right. Then for the memory verse game, you're going to have two teams. One person is going to stand at the end with this basket on their head. And you're going to take out these, oh, these um, pieces of memory verse. And you're just going to scatter them in the basket. Then everyone else is going to stand down at the other end. You can mar mark a starting point on the carpet. And they're going to bounce the ball. And it's really hard to do from an iPad. And try to get it in the basket. So that however many times it takes. Once they get the ball to land in the basket that's on the person's head, they can go over to it, pick out a piece of the memory verse, and run back. Then the next person goes. They try to bounce the ball into the basket. When they get the ball in the basket, they pick another piece out. When all the pieces are gone, that team has to put the memory verse in order. Whichever team does that first wins. Okay? So that is the memory verse game. And then finally, you're just going to close in prayer. Um, you're going to do a little call and response prayer. So you're going to lead kids to repeat each of the following lines with you after you, um, and then they're going to crouch down and jump back up when it tells you to. So if you'd like to do that little prayer to close down, you can. So that is it for this week, guys. Thank you so much for leading this group of kids so faithfully. You guys are amazing. Looking forward to the summer. I think it's going to be great. So thankful for all of you. Thank you guys for serving, and we'll see you on Sunday.